Let's take a look at the octahedral molecular geometry. So first off, when we think of the octahedral molecular geometry, we're thinking about a steric number of six. That means we have six things bonded to this central atom here. One, two, three, four, five, six things bonded to the central atom and no lone pairs. So everything is a chemical bond here to the central atom. A good example of an octahedral molecular geometry is the molecule SF6, sulfur hexafluoride. So let's take a look at sulfur hexafluoride. We see that we have sulfur in the center, that's our central atom, and then one, two, three, four, five, six fluorine atoms spread around it. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So we can imagine the sulfur, that's the purple, and then six fluorines, one, two, and you see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other, three, four, five, and finally that last one, six, that's what gives us this octahedral molecular geometry. And you can see the bond angles, all of these bond angles here, they're 90 degrees. Let's go back. So again, to recap, we have six things bonded to the central atom and no lone pairs, just like with our SF6. That's the octahedral molecular geometry. If you're using the AXE notation, you would have A, that's the central atom, the sulfur, X, those are the atoms bonded, in this case the fluorines here, and then E, that would be the lone pair, there's no lone pairs, so you get AX6, and if you look this up, AX6, that is octahedral. This is Dr. B with the octahedral molecular shape or geometry. Thanks for watching.